the worst feeling of carrying disabilities parents point of view hi my name is Lydia Longa and I'm the creator of this page and today I'm here guys to tell you five things that I find that us as a parent uh, normally have when we do have a kid that has disabilities number one stress it is very common for for you to find a parent that has a lot of stress especially moms uh, that are the ones that spend much on most of the time with the kid it's normally common for you to find her with a lot of stress uh, number two it takes a toll in our mental and physical health uh, we may get depressed and anxious um, and have other kind of uh, mental health or physical health problems and we just don't look after ourselves because we are too busy taking care of a kid and make sure that he or her has the best that we can offer number three it affects the decision about work let me give you an example if you go to an interview and you explain your situation as a parent of course you're gonna you want to be uh, sincere about your situation and if something happened to your kid you have to leave the job so you have to be sincere with the person that is employing you and of course this person will mostly like not give you the job and give the job to someone that is most likely to be present 24 7 which can uh, bring us to the place that we feel number four angry guilty anxious um worry about the future and we feel insecure and we feel anger towards the world let me explain this well because you can't get a job you start asking like why i have to feed my kid I need to give the best to my kid. I have to buy that for my kid to, for him to be able to do that. But I can't do it without having enough money. So how am I going to do this? You start questioning yourself. Especially if you're a single parent like me. It is hard. You go there for that interview and you prepare yourself. And you're so like, sure that you will get this job. And then because of something that you at the beginning didn't found as a problem you start getting and being a problem for other people and you start being a problem for yourself as well because you can't work that's the reality you won't be able to work and you start getting anxious about how people will see you how people will talk to you if they see you in the street how they will look at you because nowadays especially if you, the disability that your kid has reflects on their physical you see these people staring at you and you're just like why are they standing so many places to look at it why are they looking at me like that i just want to walk like a normal person so you start getting angry at them which is normal because it is frustrating you walking and you see all these gospels people talking about you as a person and as a mother you're just trying to get your kid to that place but you hear all these bad comments and then you start hearing all these questions people asking you questions in a way that it may sound rude uh, something that I want to say here sometimes not because they want to be rude or they are trying to be rude sometimes just because they are not well informed about how to refer to that situation so they ask something that sounds rude and of course because you're already down you're already sad and you're already sick of that day so it will get to the point that everything people say it will literally turn you you'll be sad you'll be mad angry and that brings to the most sad point for me you want to be lonely you want to be home without anyone around you because you don't want to see people talking about you, about your life, people giving opinions that you don't need to hear because you have so much in your pack and they are trying to add more. So the feeling that you get like, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay alone. I'm going to protect my son from all these bad people. I'm going to stay home and protect my heart from all these bad wars out there. So you stay home and you stay alone and you have no friends and you have no one to share what you really and truly feel inside you it is sad guys i have no much friends i have one friend that i made when i was pregnant but 
she's also very busy about her life but I didn't have the opportunity to make other friends when she's busy so when she's busy I am alone when my family is busy I am alone because I live alone and I have a son who has special needs and I don't want to bring him out in that world but then I decide to do something to help you guys and to help me I decide to create the extra ability community and this community guys it brings people together here we will be able to share our stories to be able to encourage each other I will be able to encourage you and you will be able to encourage me with your story telling me your struggles and why and how we can work together okay uh, we'll be able to soon meet up all of us and be able to be friends make friends you know we we are not obligated to be friends with anyone but of course one or two persons will end up being friends for the life you know so that's the um, the objective of this community for us to make friends and be able to no more be lonely okay we're gonna be able to make friends and we're gonna be able to show what real love it is with each other and be able to create activities so guys join us and by following us here and all other platforms that we have facebook instagram and turn on the notifications so you guys don't miss any video the plan is uh, one video every Saturday 12 p.m. and daily motivation for you guys for old mamas out there uh, my objective here is to bring you and to boost your energy so you have to activate the notification so you get the daily motivation and we're gonna be doing lives as well um, twice a month we don't have set days yet because we're gonna work on that and we're gonna publish here and tell you guys what the days are and we're gonna be able to teach each other the best sensory activities that we know i have so many ideas so many things i want and i have to bring to you guys that i've learned towards all these five years of mom and i'm so excited to bring and let you guys know everything that i've learned and i still learn excited to know about you guys learn about your stories so i'll see you guys in the next video don't miss saturday 12 am every day daily boost bye bye